Good morning, everybody. Low Wolf Rick here, and it's Monday morning. We're on the Las Vegas trip, 8 a.m. Almost straight up. It's like uh, to start of this video. Hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. It is currently 54 degrees here in Las Vegas, and about a 15 mile per hour wind right now. And remember yesterday's video, I was talking about the wind gusts and everything. Well, it hit and it hit with a fury. Uh, there were gusts up to 45, 50 mile per hour yesterday, uh, the afternoon and into the evening hours. And uh, it was windy, it was gusty, it was, uh, I, I always go back to uh, an old Gilligan's Island uh, video re rerun where uh, there was like a hurricane hit the island and they were holding on to a tree and uh, it would completely lift them. Uh, completely off the uh, uh, ground as they labeled out it's like on that tree and that's what it felt like yesterday if you were walking against the wind it was pushing you off to the side or at least it was me anyway so uh, yeah, it was pretty pretty amazing and uh, it kind of died down as the night went through as you can see it's about 15 mile per hour an hour but uh, man them gusts were something else yesterday and uh, but that's typical uh, March weather here in Nevada. It's like we get those spurts like that. So we kind of look around here on the strip, see what's going on. Not many people are walking around today at 8 a.m. But uh, everybody's recovering from uh, from all the March Madness uh, uh, games. It's like uh, quite a weekend or quite a, quite a time. It's like a lot of those games, a lot of upsets uh, this weekend. So... Uh, should be interesting going down the stretch. I saw uh, sportsbook directors are saying that this possibly could surpass the Super Bowl this year as far as the uh, most money taken in on sporting events. I keep in mind it's like, you know, the March Madness has a whole series of games uh, where the Super Bowl is just that one game, but uh, that's pretty amazing. That's never happened before. Uh, at least I have a red or I don't remember it ever happened before. But uh, it's absolutely pretty crazy that uh, you go through and uh, and you um, see the kind of money that was wagered and it was packed. It was super busy here. It's like uh, this weekend on the strip and I imagine next week it'll be the same. And uh, that kind of leads into one of the two things I was going to talk about is the... Um, Next year, March Madness, Western Regionals will be held, uh, the Sweet 16 games and Elite 8 games will be held over at the uh, uh, T-Mobile Arena. It's like, uh, that's huge news. Uh, a few years back, that would never happen. Las Vegas would never get uh, uh, these type of games or whatever, these college games, but... Uh, it's a, it's a, uh, you know, with the Raiders and the Golden Knights and and uh, baseball possibly coming to Las Vegas, uh, you know, and nobody's scared. Everybody has sports school wagering anymore. It's absolutely amazing that uh, uh, we would get those games. But the uh, Sweet 16 games, Elite Eight games, uh, coming to T-Mobile Arena next week for the West Regionals or next year. Uh, fantastic a lot of that, that'll be a lot of fun and that'll bring even more craziness here to the Las Vegas Strip and then the other thing I'm going to talk about here's something that's pretty interesting I thought it's like you might have find interesting as I was per pursuing the uh, internet last night and looking for stories and like I said that was the that was the only story that I could find uh, that it, uh, affected us here in Vegas but uh, here was an interesting thing I found this is a list of, from the Nevada Gaming Control Board. Nevada Gaming Control Board. These are the top five casinos uh, with the loosest slots. Uh, this report came out around the end of last year, uh, so you know I think they release them maybe annually. But uh, the top five casinos with the loosest slots here in Las Vegas. So um, 
Next time you come to Vegas, it's like you might want to check these properties out. And I'll be honest with you, the properties that are on this list surprised me quite a bit. Uh, here we go. So number five, and I don't have a drum roll, but uh, that's okay. Uh, number five is the Virgin Hotel off of Paradise Road, the formerly uh, former old Hard Rock Hotel Casino. Uh, the Virgin Hotel comes at number five, Lucy Slots here in Las Vegas. Number four. It's right there. New York, New York. Wait for that truck to go by. New York, New York is number four. That one really surprised me a lot. Uh, number four loses slots here in Las Vegas. Number three, another surprise to me. This one's down this way, the Paris Hotel. The Paris Hotel Casino is number three on the list of loosest slots in uh, Las Vegas. Number two is back up this way. Another surprise, the Luxor Hotel. Came in as the second uh, place with the loosest slots, second casino with the loosest slots here in Las Vegas. And number one, the number one on the list, it's like a thing, I don't think it's like nobody would ever guess this in a million years. The loosest slots in Las Vegas is that Circus Circus. Circus Circus Hotel Casino has the loosest slots in, uh, in Las Vegas. So uh, it's interesting, none of the Fremont Street uh, places, none of the older uh, downtown places made the list, which kind of uh, was interesting to me. I thought a couple of them would be down there. Uh, the MGM properties, it's like kind of surprised me a little bit, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, it's a uh, pretty amazing list it's like uh, I would have never guess those properties I don't know who I would have guessed it's like because they're all corporate properties now uh, you know but uh, that's the top five let's take kind of one last look around here on the strip see what's going on here you see I'm standing in front of this Burlington Outlet store and the Target store right here and we've got that Olive Garden store. That Olive Garden's been there well, maybe going on five or six months now. I want to have lunch there one day. And uh, I'll do a video and let you know how that was here. Uh, they have people. It's like, especially it's like, you know, in the afternoons out here trying to get people into it. So uh, hopefully the business is okay there. All right, everybody. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for joining me. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Let you know where everything's going on around here. And tell all of our subscribers, everybody watching our videos, thank you very, very much. We appreciate your support. All right, everybody, take care of yourselves. Stay healthy. Let's have a great week. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.